Hello, I'm Tom Bailey, and in today's episode, I'll be getting to know Terry Lancaster, who is a copywriter, marketing strategist, and storyteller. He also writes blog posts, websites, radio and TV commercials, video scripts, TED Talks, and number one best-selling books. So Terry, hello, and a very warm welcome to today's episode. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for having me on, buddy. I really appreciate it. No, I really appreciate you, you being here. And just out of interest, where else are you in the world right now? I'm in uh, sunny, beautiful Nashville, Tennessee, and I take it by your accent that you are not. <laughs> I am not, exactly. I'm over here in the UK, and it's currently raining as ever in the UK. So, incredible. Thank you so much again for coming along, and I just want to share a little bit more about you before we do get started. So, Terry has helped thousands of small businesses and entrepreneurs to create billions in revenue by putting the right words in the right order to tell the right story. The title for today's episode is How to Live the Life You Were Born to Live, and Terry's going to show us how to do that in, hopefully, just under seven minutes. So the first question today is, who are your ideal clients? Tom, my, um, like I said, I've helped thousands of small businesses and entrepreneurs, and that's who I really like to work with, small businesses and entrepreneurs, people who have, uh, you know, have, have their feet in the fire, who are in the game and specifically the ones who don't have a giant marketing team behind them. Uh, being an entrepreneur is lonely work, so it's good yeah. to have someone you can talk to who's on your team. And so I, I try to be a member of their team. Uh, I've worked with everything from insurance agents to uh, real estate agents, uh, car salespeople, uh, uh, you know, uh, any kind of marketing marketing entrepreneur. Uh, I'm uh, that's who I want to talk to. Absolutely. Fantastic. And when you work with these clients, what would you say is the biggest challenge that they typically face? Well, the, of course, we all know everyone has to be on the internet. The world is, is there's no divide between the digital world and the real world anymore. So right. everyone's got a website, but more often than not, they, uh, the, someone tells them that they have to build a website. So they pay someone to build them a website or they get their brother-in-law to build them a website <laughs> and then they stick it up on the internet and crickets, nothing happens. It's like uh, spending a bunch of money to print a fancy brochure and then throwing it in a in a desk drawer and, and never handing it out to anyone. So their biggest problem is they're not getting the traffic to the website uh, to, to drive the conversations that they need to have for their business. Absolutely, and it may sound like an obvious question, but by not having this traffic driving to their website, what's the impact that might have on them or their business? Well, the, the, if you don't have the traffic to the website, you're not going to start the conversations. You're not going to start building the relationships that you need to have with your customers. And you're going to be forced to do things that are, are more expensive. You're going to have to buy the pay-per-click ads. You're going to have to spend more time out networking and shaking hands. And, and, and you're, you're confused because you spent all this money building a website and you thought that was going to be the answer. That's going how I'm going to, going to, going to get the business. But no one tells you that the, the website is, is just like a telephone. You got to give people the phone number. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks so much. That's a great, great piece of advice. And on that topic, what is one great, valuable piece of advice that you might give to somebody to really help them start solving this problem? Uh, the, the easy answer is, is feed the beast. The beast yep. is Google. Two, thir two thirds out of all website visits come from a search engine, uh, from, from a search engine search. And that means Google. And Google exists to connect eyeballs. To customers what they want is they want more content and they've got this unholy alliance if you will feed them what they want if you'll give them little scooby snacks you can train google to stand up and do tricks and send customers to your website you so you have to create more content more valuable content more relevant content more inviting content to drive yourself higher up in the search engines so google can start sending you more customers Great. And, and I guess, like you said at the beginning, these websites with no regular content, Google will start to slowly forget them quite well, quite quickly, in fact. Quite quickly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, great. So um, this yeah, will completely speak to a lot of the people listening to this episode, I'm sure. So what is one valuable resource that you could share or where would you point people to, so they can find out more? So they can find out more. If you want to go to my website, uh, terrylancaster.com. One, I got a bunch, bunch of samples. Of, I've got a ton of content. Mm -hmm. And and actually, actually, truth is, if you want to know more about Terry Lancaster, here's what you do. Go to Google. Go to Google and Google Terry Lancaster. And that's going to send you to terrylancaster.com. And the free resource is, in addition to poking around, is right there on the front page. There's there's a link that's going to go to my uh, my calendar. And if you have a small business and a website that's not getting the traffic that you that you think it should get, and you don't know where to start on, on content creation, 
um, uh, go go there. You can schedule an appointment with me. Let's have a quick conversation. In a quick conversation, I can give you five ideas to start creating better content to drive more traffic to your website. Amazing. That's going to be a great resource. And that's terrylancaster.com or in fact, just Google Terry Lancaster and that'll pop up on the first page of Google. So question for you then, Terry, what would you say is one of your greatest mistakes or failures that you've made either in life or in business? And what did you learn from it? Tom, you're, you're a handsome young man. You, have, you haven't been on this earth nearly as, as long as I have. And the, one of the things I've, I've uh, the, one of the big mistakes I've made, one of the big failures I've had is looking at mistakes and failures as mistakes and failures. I've been, I've been an entrepreneur for 30 years and I promise you I've made my, my, my failures outnumber my successes at mm -hmm. least a hundred to one. Yeah. And, this, and especially folks who haven't really been on the, in the entrepreneurial world, you think, boom, I'm going to have this success. And it's, you know, it's a straight line from here on out. And it just doesn't work that way. It ebbs and it flows. It comes and goes. You got business ideas that just tank. And, and you've got this great business idea that works beautifully for years and years and years. And then you wake up one morning and it doesn't work at all. So you have to pivot and rearrange and, and, and all again. So, so failures aren't failures. I, I shoot for failures. I, yeah. I, when I'm talking to customers, I aim for no. The more no's I get, the, that, that means the more yeses I'm going to find. So, uh, so I don't look at any kind of mistake and failure as a problem. Mistake and failures are, are the objective because the more, of those you, the more of those you go through, the more honey you're going to find. Absolutely. That's an amazing perspective for, especially some new entrepreneurs that are just starting out and can prepare themselves for those ebbs and flows, like you said. So the last question from me today is, what is the one question that I should have asked that will also bring some great value to our audience? So the, the, the question I get asked most often when I tell people, you got to create more content, you got to get more stuff on your website, you got to get more information out there. They ask me, well, well what should I post? Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. you know because most people aren't writers they know how to sell whatever it is they're selling but in order to to write a blog post or or heaven forbid create video content like this there it just scares the bejesus out of them and and so what should i post is the big question and and the answer that i give them is this the more often that you can take the focus off of you the mm. more that you can create content that puts the focus on other human beings either on your customers either on your employees, people out in your community, char charitable organizations near your business, the more that you can create content that highlights them, that lifts them up, that puts the spotlight on them, the, uh, the more that, that uh, you, the more you shine the spotlight on them, the more sunshine is going to fall off on you. So look for ways to highlight your people. Find your tribe and lift them up. Great advice. Love that to end on. Thank you so much, Terry, again, for your time today and for adding such great value to our audience. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate you, man.